We purchased this rifle off of evoc.com for $265. And remember, Airsoft is rated E for everyone. Sup, y'all. Sorry about the wait. We had some technical difficulties, which we'll explain later. But here we go. It's a review of the Echo One Scar H or the MK17. Okay, so first off, as you probably noticed, it does have a functioning bolt catch. The buttons on the other side, just like an M4. Just press it and it goes back forward. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you can change the charging handle from either side, depending on which is your dominant hand. Uh, I guess I should have done this first, but I have a 762 Magpul Dark Earth. Got some Magpul Dark Earth rail covers, a Magpul angle forward grip, and a Gemtech black side suppressor on here. This gun is not stock at the moment. I have already put in a extended tight bore barrel. So we were planning on doing an accuracy test with it. But since it's already got the type board, that'd be kind of pointless. But if you want us to, anyways, just go ahead and like put a comment saying that you want us to. And here's the uh, type board barrel. It's a 6.01. So accuracy and grouping is great on here. So the gun does have flip up rear and front sights, which I like a lot. They're really easy to look through and whatnot. There will be a tool that goes in the gas tube right here. You like twist it out and it comes out and it's for the screw right here under the rail covers and these two on both sides. If you unscrew all those, uh, the whole lower rail and the barrel assembly will slide out. That's how you get to your inner barrel. <coughs> the stock on here as an adjustable cheek rest in three positions. I came on in the up, all the way up. It does fold too, and it also extends. Everything on this gun is ambidextrous, except for the bolt catch. That's not a big problem. So there are five sling mounts on this gun depending on how you like it I guess there's one right here one up here one right here and two right here which is better than one the takedown on this is insanely easy all you have to do is pop out this pin right here kind of push back and then down you Pull the lower receiver comes out and right here. And you just push the slide. I mean, push the uh, stock down, and it slides off. And you can get to your bolt spring, which just fell out. And your bolt. That's how you change sides. You have to pull the bolt all the way back, which I can't do at the moment because I modified mine a little bit, so it's not working right. And then you just take out the charging handle and put it in on the other side. And yeah, It's really easy. Okay, before I mention some technical difficulties, this is basically the wiring on this gun is shit. So if you get this gun, you may want to check your wiring. I don't know if I just got a bad gun or all of them are like this. Definitely check it out. The connections to the right here to the gearbox were broken. The connection right here for the wires into the stock was broken. I had to resolder all those. And the wire in the stock ripped, I guess. So I had to rewire it. It's pretty gay. So this gun comes with a 500 round high cap. Actually, it comes with two. So you get a total of a thousand rounds right out of the box. It also comes with a 9.6 1200 milliamp hour battery, 
which gives you a pretty good rate of fire. You can tell it's a custom shape. Um, this is so you, when you put it in the gun, you want your connectors to basically be like this, and then you put this part like into the stock like that. It makes it a bit easier. But you can use normal batteries as long as you keep your stock extended. If you plan on putting it in, you're going to have to use that one. Uh, overall, this gun, I really like it. Besides the wiring problems, it's been really good. I've used it for a couple games now. I've gotten a bunch of kills. It's very unique. You don't see very many Star H's. Uh, especially one of Echo Ones. They like just came out. And I got one. Oh yeah, and it's got the Echo One trades on the side, which are actually pretty cool. It says like Echo One USA 762 by 59, I believe. Oh, it says 6 millimeter. That's retarded. I guess they try to keep the airsoft theme in there. Yeah, it just has Echo One stuff on there. So, overall, I like it. Oh, I forgot to mention this whole upper receiver is metal. And the lower receiver is plastic. It's like a tough ABS, not like cheap flimsy plastic. Which also applies to the stock and the grip. Which are also plastic. Everything else is metal. Except for the normal plastic parts, I guess. So if you all want an accuracy test or something like that, just comment below and we'll make sure to make one. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch our review of the Socom Gear Noveski M4.